is he calling me dead? We're starting the podcast right now, guys. Hey, beautiful people. Hope you all are doing very well today. Welcome back to the Young and Independent Show, where we discuss a variety of topics to help young folks live lives that are spiritually fulfilled, lives that are value-added, lives that are less materialistic, and lives that are financially independent. I'm your host, Seal, and today you've got the two little lads on the show my sons Kudun and John Kudun is three and John is nine say hi hi audience okay so we've got John and Kudun and today when I asked John what we should be talking about in the on the children's segment he so kindly and smartly suggested how to save your money Ooh, I was so excited when he said okay mommy let's talk about how to save your money I was like wow that's a brilliant suggestion and that's what we're going to be talking about. Hi, John. Hi. Hi, Kodan. Hi. So, um, what do you understand by saving, John? Um, by using your, by, uh, like when, uh, when you save your money, it means putting it somewhere safe or not using it for a little while and using some other money. Wow, very good, very good. I, I like your understanding of of what saving your money is. That's absolutely true. Kudi, what do you understand by saving your money? A superhero who saves kids. Kids. Okay, Kudi says saving uh, your money is of super. It's about superheroes who save kids. Okay, thank you very much for your for your contribution. <laughs> thank you so much for your contribution, Kudi. Um. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, John, you're right uh, about uh, saving your money, um, um, meaning that uh, that you put your money, some of your money aside. As in, if you have um, one thousand dollars, if you earn one thousand dollars, okay, as income, how much of that do you think you should be saving? I don't know. I don't know uh, much about how much one thousand dollars has. Uh, it's it's worth. It's worth. You don't know how much one thousand dollars is worth. Okay. Kudi, if you have a thousand dollars, how much of that should you save? I should save starts with Superman. Okay, Kudi's going. With Superman. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Kudi. So, um, a thousand dollars in today's economy is not worth a lot if you have rent, if you have children, and all that. But, however, it's not the amount of money. Kudi, Kudi, can you stop? Mommy's on the podcast. Okay? No foreign noises. Uh, it's not really about. Kudi? No, no. Thank you. So it's not really about the amount of money that you um, that you earn, but it's about cultivating the habit of not spending every amount of money that you spend. So if you earn a thousand dollars every month, it's about understanding the principle of saving your your money for rainy days. Sorry, we got interrupted by Codon. So I was trying to explain to John. Uh, here and to all our children listening that it's about saving what you have and not spending everything so just making it a habit that if you have if your parents give you for argument's sake 100 franc cfa um to um, buy something at lunchtime in school that you should be able to save uh 10 percent 20 percent of that amount so 10 percent will be 10 francs 20 percent will be 20 francs so john if you if you've got a thousand dollars um at the end of the month or on a daily basis, no matter what amount you have, you should be able to save uh, 10, 20, 30 percent, depending on what your current needs are. Do you understand what I mean? A little. Okay, what don't you understand? Um, about the currency payback stuff. Yeah, it's not about the currency, it's about the attitude, the habit. Oh, like what you use the money for? Yeah. Okay. I think we should. So what I what what I want you to understand is the principle of saving. 
because many people who are struggling you know every day to live on 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 what they earn at the end of the month are people who don't understand the principle of saving even the bible tells us i need to find out exactly what quotation that is the bible says that when we earn money we should eat some we should save some and then we should give some some people save all of their money that's not good because you should be able to eat healthy food. Mommy, yes. what's my tag number? Two. Two. Zero. Z- three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Eight. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not eight. One. One. Wait, wait. One. One. Eight. Eight. Okay, go and sit over there then. Okay. Um, some people, when they end their money, they, they use the money, they they. they, they they, they they save all of it and they live a miserable life. That's not what the Bible wants us to do. And that's not what society wants Mom? us to do. Yes. Why do they save all their money? Yeah, some people are stingy even to themselves. No. They're very crafty even to themselves. And that's very dangerous because if you're not eating healthy, if you're not sending your kids to good schools, if you're not going to hospital to do checks because you're saving all of your money, you're going to fall sick and you're going to die before you even get to enjoy that money. And in a case where you're not giving your children the best they they deserve because you're trying to save every little penny, then your children will grow up not to gain the knowledge that they need to navigate life. Yes. Um, How, I mean, why do they think they want to save money? I don't get why they would like to save all the money. Yeah, some people are like that. It's an attitude that they have. They're stingy. They don't want to spend anything. They want to save all their money because they feel that when they're looking at their bank account and they're seeing their bank balance saying, oh, they've got $100,000 in the bank, then they're rich. But riches is not about the amount of money that you have saved, but about the amount of money that you have invested and the lives that you impact. Okay? Yeah, so... um, that's what saving is all about. It, no matter how small the amount is, do you now understand that you have to put some aside? Yeah. Okay? So how? What? where do you think, if I gave you uh, $100 now, how much of that will, will you save? Mm, half of it. Half of it. Fantastic. So you will save 50% of it. And how will you save it? Where will you keep it? In the bank account. Well, you're not allowed to have a bank account at this age. So, well, you can have a proxy account through your parents. So, um, you don't have a bank account right now, or you and your brother, but you guys have um, an ISA, which is another way of saving for you guys. It's um, it's a system organized by the British government that allows uh, parents to be able to buy uh, shares for their children in different companies. Um, And every month, we put the money in there. And the ISA, the fund manager of the ISA, they use the money to invest in the stock market and it's some sort of savings for you guys. Um, But parents who don't want to go through that route can actually open a custodian bank account. Your children have the right to have a custodian bank account. When you grow up, there's 50% that you would like for your children to save. I encourage you to open a custodian bank account. Do you understand? Okay. Um, now that you don't have a custodian bank account, what other way can you save the fifty dollars? Uh, yeah. By using. Yeah, they're like that. Oh, you mean by using ISA? No, I've talked about an ISA. Only your parents can do that. You can have a oh. piggy bank. You can have a piggy bank. But I've never. Do you remember used... the piggy bank we saw at Auntie Moyo's place? Yeah saw the piggy bank with all the cash inside. You were shaking and there was a lot of cash inside. Yeah. That's how you can save. You can have a piggy bank. If you cannot buy a ready-made piggy bank from uh, from the store, you can make a piggy bank yourself. You can have, you can nail four um, plywoods together and just create a small hole and make it difficult for you to take the money out. So that once you put the money in, the money stays there until when you need to break the piggy bank apart to take out all of your savings. But you've got to give yourself a target. As in, I want to be able to save 
throughout the year of 2022, I want to be able to put 100 francs CFA, $100, $10, $1 every single day into my piggy bank. You have to have a target. Because where there is no vision, people perish. You have to have a vision. You have to have a plan. Do you understand? Yes. And when you have a plan, you will be more en- you will be encouraged and you'll be more enthusiastic. You will be more uh, uh, willing to put the money in. And every little point that you win, every little amount that you put in there will make you feel good. Do you understand? Yeah. Nick. Yes. So... What have you understood before we end the program? I've understood that uh, when you save, uh, that you shouldn't save all your money, and when you save, mo- and when you're rich, yeah. it's not about how much money Could it, there is. Can you take down the volume, please? Save. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's not about how much money it, there is saved. It's about how much money you have and the lives cost. No, it's not about how much money you have in the bank, but how much you've invested and the people, no, the I lives meant, that you impact. I meant the money you have with you. Yeah. And I said the lives of people you impact. Too. Okay. And uh, also how... Kids can save their money by using a piggy bank. Okay. All right, would you tell that to your friends then? Yes. Okay. All right, guys, uh, we've come to the end of today's segment about saving money with our kids. I hope you enjoyed it. Kudi has been very noisy in the background. Really sorry about that. Kudi, do you want to say anything to the audience about saving money in a piggy no. bank? Okay, Kudi doesn't want to say anything. He's got his tablet in his hands now. And I hope that he can watch Baby Boss and learn how to speak proper English no, right now. No games. No, no games, Kudi. Baby Boss. No. Do you want mommy to take the tablet from you? Yeah? Are you going to put Baby Boss? Are you going to put Baby Boss? I want to hear an answer. Are you going to put Baby Boss? Are you going to put Baby Boss, Kudun? Good. Well done to you. Baby Boss is good for you. It's teaching you how to speak proper English and to put your sentences together, okay? All right, guys. Um, if you enjoyed today's podcast, please send it to your friends. Ask them to play it for their children to listen and encourage your children to, um, to actually act upon these things that we've discussed in today's podcast. Thank you all so much. Follow all our social media platforms. And until next time, we've got a grumpy coding in the background. Uh, I'm going to let you all go right now. Do take care and bye-bye.